Welcome to Paratalk with the East Tennessee Ghost Seekers. Hair raising, spine tingling evidence covering the full supernatural spectrum. UFOs, cryptozoology, paranormal encounters. Have an experience to share? Call now, 865-264-0448. That's 865-264-0448. And now, here's your host, Stephen Brown, with fellow ETGS members, Steve Wiseman, Andrea Brown, and Jesse Arms. Well, 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 to Paratalk. Hello, and welcome to Paratalk. I'm your host, Stephen Brown, and to my right, I got my buddy, my best friend, my brother from another mother, Mr. Steve Weidman. What's up? How's it going, buddy? It's going well. Cool beans. And to your right... Oh, my other right. Yes. It's empty. It's empty. Once again. Once again, we are without a sweet tea. Uh, <laughs> All right, and and to the emptiness is right. We emptiness is yes. Is that a word? I just made it a word. Okay, that works. Okay. Okay. To the emptiness is right. <laughs> we have my beautiful, amazing wife. Andrea Brown. Hi, y'all. Oh, I, <laughs> I forgot that. That'd be good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, All yeah, right. see, that's better. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> All right, guys, how are we doing today? Good. Freaking awesome. Yeah, this is different for us because... Um, this is early. Yeah. This, it's, it's so weird. Usually we're recording at midnight, you know, at 12, 11. And I just finished night. my 14th cup of coffee. Yeah, so you should be good to go. That's why he's bouncing off the walls. Oh, yeah. And instead, it is <laughs> it is twelve oh five in the afternoon. Wow! I know this is so weird. But it's so daylight outside. It is daylight. It's outside. five o'clock somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're recording this early today because Steve and I are going to be leaving here shortly and headed down to Hell's Bar, the most haunted dam in America. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm quite jealous, but... But, I mean, you could have tacked along, but... I could have, but uh, other things presented themselves, so... Like the kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn kids. That too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going down to Hell's Bar, and we're going to be showing some support to our brother's gateway, uh, Paranormal, and just hanging out with them, hanging out with Jeff and Vicky. Uh, and miss you guys. Yep. Yes. And you know, meeting some new faces. Mm-hmm. You know? So I mean, we're always down for that. You know, meeting Absolutely. new people. And so you know, hopefully, you know, we'll have a good follow up uh, next week and take you how that went. And you know, maybe meet some people who want to be interviewed on Paratalk that have Ooh, some experiences. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And we're just what uh, less than a month away from no. no. No, less we're. Oh, wait, what, what month less, is this? This, this is, is May. May. We're less than two oh, months. Yeah. Oh, well, gall dang. <laughs> <laughs> less than two months from You just our lost event. your third nipple. Son of a gun. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, well, when you get my age, you'd be happy to just have one. <laughs> <laughs> Do they fall off? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. uh, what kind of future do you have? Well, there's only two there, so yeah. regardless, that would suck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you one of mine. Okay, okay. But what, um, nipple donations? Yeah. <laughs> nipple donations to the left, uh, scrotums to the right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm excited about today's show. Yeah, definitely. This is going to yeah. be interesting. Yeah, we have uh, Sarah James on the show today. Uh, Sarah is a clairvoyant. And we haven't spoke with a clairvoyant yet. Um, she grew up in Cornwall, Southwest UK. So I'm hoping she has an accent. Oh I'm my gosh, saying. I hope so. I hope she has. An I accent. love accents. Uh, she lives in time for some bloody tea. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She lives in uh, British Columbia, Canada now. 
still. So that's awesome. There, there may be an accent there. Hey, hey, you know we may get that or an English A. How's that? I don't know. We'll hear and find <laughs> out. Hey, no, I don't know. Hey. I don't but, know. Uh, like she grew up in a in a cottage uh, that was 150 years old. Oh man, that is cold. Yeah, right. But that cottage had a de- demonic entity in it, and a woman and a child uh, entity as well. Okay, so. minus the demonic entity, yeah. living in a 150 year old cottage would be freaking awesome. In the UK, in the UK, in the UK. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. But yeah, I'm super stoked to talk to her, and honestly, I'm so stoked I really don't want to put it off anymore. Let's do this. So, so rock on, my yeah. brother. So let's cut to a little commercial, and we will be back, and we will be talking to Miss Sarah James. Hey, it's Stephen, host of Paratalk. As most of you know, I'm also the lead investigator and tech specialist for the East Tennessee Ghost Seekers. Do you watch the paranormal shows on TV and get a rush and want to do what they do? but you have no idea where to get all their amazing equipment, the Ghost Hunter Store. Dave Giuliano and his wife, Michelle, have owned and operated the Ghost Hunter Store for 18 years, providing only the best in paranormal equipment to the field for research. The Ghost Hunter Store is always the first place we look when wanting new equipment and wanting it fast. So whether you're looking for a digital recorder or an SLS camera or anything in between, including protection items, check the Ghost Hunter Store. Find them at theghosthunterstore.com or on Facebook at The Ghost Hunter Store. Tell them Steven and the crew from Paratalk City. And for a limited time, Dave has given Paratalk listeners 5% off your order. Just enter the code Paratalk5. Hey, this is Steve with Paratalk. Do you have a story to share? Call us at 865-264-0448 to explain your paranormal experience. Do you have a chilling story you'd like to share? Or just give us a topic you'd enjoy us to discuss? We understand some of you would like to keep anonymous, so the choice is yours if you want to share your name. So call 865-264-0448 now to have your story heard on the next episode of Paratalk. A new perspective in Paranormal Talk Radio. And we are back. We're back. We are. We are. Yeah. Great commercial break. Great commercial break. Yeah. All right. Um, so, are you guys stoked? Super oh, stoked. Yeah, definitely. Us. Yeah. Yeah. We are super stoked. All right. Without further ado. We would like to introduce Miss Sarah James. Hello, Sarah, and welcome to Paratalk. Yay! Hi, how are you guys doing this morning? Doing Lovely. great. Lovely. So, uh, I read over your bio, and you went through some stuff at a very young age. I did, yeah. Stuff that I, at the time, I, I suppose I didn't understand. Mm-hmm. And um, some pretty scary stuff stuff um the house that i lived in in the uk was um very haunted a very old house but about 150 years old and um there was a demonic entity in the house and uh i had two other spirits that used my bedroom as sanctuary so that they were able um to stay away from uh the entity and this went on for most of my childhood. Um, and again, you know, everybody says, you know, your, your parents say to you, no, 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 it was just a car going past the window. No, it's an old house. It'll make creaky noises. Um, 
but they didn't understand that I could actually see this entity standing at my bedroom door. He would ne never come in, or it would never come in. Um, and uh, so I, I suppose after a time, you kind of desensitize yourself to it and think, well, if I don't believe it, it's not happening. Mm -hmm. And um, so it, as a child, I, I had some pretty scary stuff happen. Um, but I, I must admit that uh, as time went on, the more I tried to ignore it, the more spirit would um, put things in my way to deal with. Uh, and there's no running away from it when spirit wants to work with you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you have to listen. And I suppose, you know, 45 now, so, you know, by the time I was 25, 30, I thought, you know, I can't ignore this anymore. Mm -hmm. right. um, so it went from being scared of what I could see and hear uh, and not understand it to finding some mentors that um, were amazing and, and helped me to really develop my skills. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Just knowing, you know, growing up with that and not having people believe you. I mean, that that would be hard as a child and being told, oh, you're just you're crazy. You know, you're just seeing things, hearing things, you know, it's no no big deal. I could just imagine that being yeah. so difficult as a child. Yeah, and it's, it's not much better, you know, when you're when you're 15 and you tell your best friend, Oh, uh, you know, I, your granny's standing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to tell you X, Y, and Z. And, uh, you know, you, you soon get a name for being this weird kid. Right. Um, and so I suppose that kind of made me a little concerned about how people would view me. Right. And uh, it wasn't until I was quite a bit older that I decided to just embrace it. Right. Um, and having done that, it, it is the most amazing gift that's awesome um, okay um i just i don't know if you're able to hear this uh but like me and steve are sitting here and andrea looking at each other like what the heck's going on because while you're talking we are getting voices come through the system we've heard uh like when you when you explain something we're getting a, a right a yeah um, and hey. Uh, hey, we're getting voices that we're picking up in our headphones right now as we're interviewing you. That's awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I I'm in my spirit room, and okay. oh. um, this is this is my sanctuary. This is where I do my readings and my and my reiki. Um, and I know that they're around. You know that they're here. Um, they're listening. A couple of my spirit guides are like, "Yay, way to go!" <laughs> That's you awesome. Know, it, it, you're never alone when you're a medium. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I mean, you just said you're never alone, but is there a time that you can turn it off, or is it just a constant? No, you have to learn to turn it off. Okay. Um, because it, it will truly um, drive you a little crazy. I could imagine. Oh, sure. <laughs> imagine if you had all of these um, voices coming through you can you can see spirit you can hear spirit you know i i run nursing homes that that's what i've done for years oh. and of course the amount of people that have passed away <laughs> so you know you go to work and if you didn't turn it off you would have constant um it's it's like you're a beacon right it, it, it's like um they see your light and they know that they can talk to you so you learn to control, um, to to turn it, not turn it off completely, but to turn it down to a manageable level. Mm -hmm. um, and and then when you're giving a reading or you're you're doing a house clearing, etc., that's the time where you do um, your best work because you completely open yourself to spirit. Wow. That's crazy. And so I, I had read that you had worked, uh, like done forensic stuff as well. Um, how is there like, 
I, I don't expect you to share those cases because you know I don't know what they may may or may not pertain to. But um, can you give us some info on that? Uh, how long you've done that? Uh, how many cases you have helped on? Uh, just anything to yeah. I- I've done um, quite a, quite a bit um, when again in the local area here there's been a few cases where unfortunately people have um, disappeared or taken their own life and their family doesn't know where they are and I've had family members come to me you know can you please tell me is he alive is he dead like you know, they need closure. Right. Um, and uh, so I've helped out quite a few local cases, um, a few cases in the UK. Um, and it seems to be more and more um, that people are kind of seeking me out. I, I don't normally do podcasts. I, I, I have a Facebook page. Um, I go by word of mouth more than anything. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm... It just seems to be the way that spirit is taking me right now. Wow. So it, that sounds, I mean, it sounds pretty exciting. I mean, just, it, do you ever get scared? Yeah, I'm human. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, there. just because somebody has passed into the spirit realm doesn't mean that they're suddenly angels and nice people. Mm-hmm. If um, they're less than savory characters here on this earth plane, chances are, you know, they're going to be the same person. Their soul just leaves their body, their vessel. So they just, um, you, you can get some pretty nasty um, interactions. Right. So uh, we oh had actually God. interviewed um, someone before and. Um, I, she was a medium too as well she was a medium, yeah. um, but kind of a, a question that we asked her do you believe that uh, a person in life is the same like their attitude their demeanor is the would be the same in death for sure um, we are put on this earth before we come as a spiritualist medium what I believe is that we're put on this earth as a learning journey for our soul before we come to this earth plane, we make a contract with spirit um, to experience all the, um, what we see now is crappy things that happen in our life. Mm -hmm. We come down, we don't, when we come back to this earth plane, we forget what we've agreed to experience. Um, And again, you know, some people are on uh, a a lower rung of a ladder um, when you think about how their their soul is developing and how they're developing as a person and um that's no different when you die um you know we don't all go to the angelic realm and and sit there right you know talking talking to god um you know we we go and we have a life review and we say you know what maybe i need to go back and try again Mm -hmm. um so i i truly believe that life is eternal Right. Um, you know, death is is just a process, just as much as um, being born. So you know, you just um, when you accept that, it gives you such comfort and such freedom. So, do you work with a paranormal group there, or do you, you know, do you assist par- other paranormal groups uh, during cases that they may have? You know, unfortunately, um, there is no paranormal group in in my area. I live in the Kootenai Mountains in in, uh, British Columbia. Um, So I'm trying to get one together. I would very much like to do that. Uh, I do teach mediumship and uh, I do try and have a development circle Mm -hmm. to help other people to progress. But uh, I would definitely like to aid a, a paranormal group for sure. Yeah, uh, we've never worked with a medium at all. Um, but the lady that we interviewed last weekend, um, she's actually we're holding an event in July at a, a haunted dam 
down near Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, she's coming from Delaware down to investigate with us. And I look forward to it. I mean, like... I know. would... If, if you could manage to fly all the way down here, <laughs> I would love to meet you. <laughs> you know what? That would be incredible. I, I would l- love to. Um, you know, unfortunately, work gets in the way. Oh, it absolutely. Yes, we understand. <laughs> bills to pay, et cetera, right? Yes. Um, I, I, I can do remote work for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Uh, you know, there, there's a huge amount of uh, interest in the paranormal. You, you know, you see more and more on the television. Oh, yeah. Uh, ghost adventures, you know, all, all of these things. And it's it really is an exciting time for paranormal groups. It really um, is. People are asking more questions. Yeah. See, like, we started, uh, I guess, dabbling in this. Uh, like, I started in 2001 just going and sitting in old buildings uh, with a cassette recorder uh, me and one of my buddies and just asking questions and seeing if we could get any response and I saw that on an old movie that I watched where they had done that and I was like I'm going to try that you know and then Steve and I met uh, we worked together and one night late at work we started talking because uh, uh, we worked for Walgreens and one of the pharmacists in the back had come up front and was telling us about this message that he had on his answering machine. And it wasn't anyone that he knew. Um, and the answering machine was showing, it was showing zero messages. And, uh, when he went to, to do something, it started playing and it was a message directly to him from like a family member that he doesn't even know. And we're like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> and so Steve was like, he goes, you know, he goes, I've got a huge interest in this. I've always wanted to do this. He goes, I may just start doing that. And uh, that I moved and we lost contact. And I went back into town a few years later. And uh, one of the girls that worked there, she was like, uh, she was talking about her house being haunted. And she goes, yeah, and Steve came and investigated. I was like, Steve. Steve Wiseman and she's like yeah uh, he's got a paranormal group now and I was like give me some paper and I wrote down my phone number and I was like tell him to call me and been nonstop been since. nonstop ever since that was 2009 so and we love it I mean oh, yeah. we do a lot of residential investigations um, and you know that's why we started the group you know to help families because me and Steve both grew up with paranormal experiences uh, my wife Andrea, uh, I met her through our paranormal group. Um, she had liked our page on Facebook, sent me a message uh, a few days later, uh, and started talking about stir fry, and that was it. That was it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so she joined the group in 2012, and you know, like I said, we do this to help families that have that are struggling with things in the paranormal. Um, we've removed some haunted items. From, from locations that we've investigated to help families out and you know thinking that you know maybe it would you know if anything give them ease you know peace of mind that they this item that they think something's attached to get it out and everything calm down and lo and behold we were right you know we got it out because we actually brought one item back here to our house and we had stuff go on for like a month and a half and had never had any paranormal experiences in our house. So, but. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Uh, I've, I've done quite a few house clearings yeah, and I, I go into the house and um, I ask them not to tell me anything. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, because, you know, you have to have a clear idea of what you're sensing and what you're seeing. So it isn't until I've looked around, I can tell them what I've experienced. Uh, and, you know, we've even gone back with a few of these and, and found that, yes, that name is right. Yes, that person died this way. Yes, this person. Um, we even got an obituary photograph of one gentleman and, and uh, the child that had seen um, 
this uh, this person had looked at it and said, "Mum, that's that's the guy that's in my bedroom." Wow. So it, it's that kind of, it's when you get that feedback from families and the people you're helping that gives you the faith to know that what you're doing is right. Right. And, and knowing that, you know, what you're telling them is what they're seeing or hearing, it's, it's justification for yourself and, you know, realizing that, okay, this is working, you know and being able to help them and i'm i'm assuming that you know do you now i know in the in what we do we ask you know do you want us to help get rid of it or are you comfortable with it because some people just want to know if they're crazy (laughs) so yeah so i mean if if you go in and you know work with a family and they say well we're comfortable with it you know do you ever suggest hey you should probably get rid of this or are you like okay well you know you can keep it if you want you know um you sometimes you have families that will say i don't care whatever it is i want it gone right they don't want to understand it it's it's just too much they just can't wrap their head around the fact that they have this ghost person walking around right. um, so and, and others once you explain to them well you know what um, he just comes and he visits he built the house um, he loves to see your family here he doesn't wish you any harm right um, I have passed people over when they uh, when when my utmost duty I see is to um, the spirit that I'm working with. Exactly. Yeah. If, they're, if they're stuck, if there's been something traumatic, um, for instance, in a nursing home I ran in the UK, uh, I went into a room where there was somebody had passed away the night before. And uh, as nursing homes are, um, most of the belongings etc were out of the room and this lady was standing in the corner saying where am i going to sleep tonight why where's all my things oh um yeah it was kind of heartbreaking really because she had quite severe dementia when she passed and of course you know it takes a little while to get acclimatized up whoa why am i not in my body anymore right um so i i sat on the bed and i talked to her for almost an hour and i said you know what you don't have to be here anymore you're free to go so i filled the room with light and somebody came from the spirit world and it was just beautiful Mm -hmm. and took her hand and, and they passed through together um that to me is the the best duty that i can have to spirit well, right. That gave me goosebumps. I know. I'm sitting here with chills. <laughs> yeah. That's very, very touching. It, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Wow. Yeah. It, it can also be scary. Yeah. You know, um, the the entity that was in my house um, waited until I was quite a lot older and on a different continent to come visit me. <laughs> oh, wow. um, so, you know, that took two days of really hard meditation and hard work to um be able to pass this person over Mm -hmm. um he had done some really nasty things in his life he was frightened that's what it came down to he was going to go to hell yeah i was going to ask you about that how much of a battle that was to you know expel him to get rid of him or it. it it was two almost well almost two days and and constant um he would give me um he would shout in my ears um he would pull these grizzly faces and come within centimeters of my face um just such anger and angst that you know once i had passed him over um I, I don't know that it was de- demonic. I think if he had stayed in that situation for very much longer, the person that he had been before would probably 
not be there anymore. I, I do believe that he was well on the way to um, kind of changing into something. Morphing into demon. Yeah, yeah, demon. Becoming yeah. true evil. Yeah. So yeah. do you think that, and I just had this thought, uh, that the the angry spirits, that the reason they fight so hard to be expelled, do you think it's because they know that they, they'll be going to hell? I mean, is that a possibility I, that they just, they're, they're, they fought so hard to avoid that? I, I think everything is, anything in life is based on fear. Hatred is based on fear. Worry and anxiety is based on fear. Um, so if you are brought up, for instance, Catholic, right? right. Hell and damnation. Mm. Um, personally, I don't believe that there is a hell. Okay. I personally believe that um, there are levels of uh, interaction with spirit. Some of them on the lower levels, some of them on the higher levels. When you're talking about talking to angelic right. um, beings, etc. And we can all get there. It's just the fear that stops us from getting there. That makes sense. So um, you've been doing this. You've had this gift for a very long time. Um, I believe I was born with it, to yeah. be honest. Okay. So kids coming up now, uh, any of the, the, the teenagers and, and young adults that are listening uh, to this, what advice would you give them? Because... I know you know the struggle all too well that it was hard. People, you know, didn't believe you. People, you know, you probably thought, you know, maybe your head was a little loopy at times. And, you know, what advice would you give the younger ones coming up now with this gift that are terrified or just confused by it? Um, find a mentor. That's the biggest thing. Uh, for me, going to the spiritualist church was huge. Um, like-minded people who would listen uh, and and would not look at you like you've you know gone a little loopy, mm -hmm. um, and and not to dabble with what you don't understand. Yeah, it can be dangerous. Yeah. Um, I completely you know, agree with that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, all of these kids coming along that, that you know, oh, I'm going to play with a Ouija board. <laughs> they open a portal, they get some evil en entity in um, that troubles them for the rest of their life, realistically, right. and can cause mental illness in a mm -hmm. person. Um, so I would say don't dabble with what you don't understand. Learn and do it properly. Right. Um, find like-minded mentors. And, and just take it slowly because spirit will will guide you. It might take you 10 years. It might take you 20 years. But if you do it properly, then it's a gift that will, it, it will change your life forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. another, That's awesome. Another thing, uh, since you brought it up there, the whole topic on Ouija boards, um, like us as a as a as a team we don't use Ouija boards we don't advocate anyone using Ouija boards um just because we we know in our hearts that they're dangerous and Very. and in the wrong hands they're extremely dangerous um you know and I have people come to me all the time and they're like you know you talk with spirits through spirit boxes and this format and that format but you won't use a Ouija board you know you know I don't know I may be wrong you know I may be wrong and it may be exactly the same thing but I don't feel that that is and if I'm wrong I'm wrong and I'll, I'll say I'm wrong but you know I see a lot of mediums you know on social network that will dabble with Ouija boards and say that they're not bad that they're you know they're not this and they're not that I think when in the wrong hands I think that's the key thing right. and if you don't know what you're doing that's the mm -hmm. problem it could it could be I, I, used as good as a good tool but if you don't know how and you don't know what you're doing 
I say I don't want to take the time to. I learn. don't either. I'm not gonna. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> test it. In your opinion, I think a lot of it's. I think a lot of it's to do with your intention. Mm-hmm. If you're a load of kids at a party that decide to, um, there's there's one demon that's on all of. Um, Ouija board networks, etc., and mm. we know who that is, and yes, I'm not going to say <laughs> right. Yeah, we won't yeah. acknowledge um, him. Yes, we won't because, as far as I'm concerned, nope, not interested. Yeah. Um, it's to do with your intention. Mm-hmm. If you intend love, light, and help for spirit and people who are still here on this earth plane, that's what spirit will give you. Mm-hmm. If your intention is to, oh, I've seen this on TV and we're going to talk to this person um, and you don't understand what you're doing, it can be a very, very dangerous tool. I actually tell anybody that studies with me, if you use a Ouija board, I will not have you in my group anymore. Yep. I commend you uh, for I that. It's dangerous. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I mean, yeah, I totally respect you for that. Um, cause you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, just to get someone under their wing, they will take them no matter what they do. It's just, you know, the, the stigmatism of saying, you know, I've got this other person here now. So, you know, we'll go from that to that, to that. And who knows what they're bringing to the table? You know, I mean, they could be bringing something pure evil to the table. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so, so I commend you for, you know sticking to your grounds and that if they do that kind of stuff, then you don't want any part of them. You won't work with mentoring them. See you. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You know, it, it's, it just doesn't, I suppose I, I have a duty, uh, you know, as I'm mentoring people now, same as the people that, that mentored me when I was beginning my journey, I have a duty to protect them. Mm hmm. And I have a duty to be respectful to spirit. So, you know, if you get somebody that's, you know, expecting Casper to float through the room (laughs) and airports everywhere on their first sitting, Mm -hmm. you know, you've watched too much TV. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I mean, you know, for instance, the skull experiment sat in the UK for years, Robin Foy and the and Sandra Voice, they sat for years and um, it took them a long time to find the right amount of like-minded people that the spirit would work with. Hmm. Um, so, you know, it, it's, I have a responsibility. Wow. That's awesome. Well, uh, we're super excited that we got the chance to sit down and talk with you because like I said, uh, you know, we've never worked with mediums or clairvoyants or anything like that. We've used... Or anyone from the UK. Or anyone from the UK. I know, you're our first. I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you before you listen back to the podcast and you get a big laugh out of it. Um, before we got you on the line, uh, we were sitting there talking, you know, and we were talking about getting to interview you and stuff. And we are like, I hope she has an accent. hope she has an accent. <laughs> Uh, and then she's probably sitting there listening to us going, man, these guys are hicks. <laughs> <laughs> what rednecks. <laughs> and when I go back, to, when I travel back to the UK, mm. uh, my father-in-law says, oh, you sound American. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're like, no. wait, what? <laughs> no, trust me, sister. You don't sound American. A certain amount of, of um, Slang, yeah, you know, a, yeah, <laughs> yeah and we talked about that. Yeah, too. We talked about that as well. We're like, maybe she'll have like an English Canadian accent and say a with like an like a the the British accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> So super excited that you came on. Uh, this is and, this has been so fun. Yeah, and I'm just before we let her go, uh, I just want to say that uh, when Sarah goes and does this stuff, uh, she does not ask for any kind of any kind of money for it. Just like we don't ever right. ask for money for you know helping out these families. Uh, what she does do, she will take donations for her work. And she passes that on to the local animal shelters, which is amazing. That is fantastic. Such a good use. Pay it forward. This is the gift I was given, not to make money from. Um, 
and uh, I'm, I'm an animal lover. Oh, I, I mean, same. I, have a, same. I have a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, it's helped the fur baby. You're exactly right. We just I, acquired another one. <laughs> yeah, we got another fur baby yesterday. Um, and like, when did you start calling me a fur baby? <laughs> Well, we'll stop when you shave. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, but no, uh, we had a boxer, and uh, she passed away. It's like uh, last August. Yeah, last August, and uh, we had uh, a chihuahua, and a, a chihuahua cat. and a cat, and a boxer. And so Roxy, our boxer, passed away, and so we just had the cat and the chihuahua. And I'm at work Thursday, <laughs> and I get a text from my wife saying, "Hey, uh, oh no, it was a picture. It was a picture. Was a picture <laughs> of get this. him with the pictures. Yeah, it was a picture. And uh, our chihuahua, her name's Nina, and she's like, uh, this is Nina's half brother. Um, Nina's <laughs> owner, her health's getting really bad, and the and she's only five or he's only five months old." And she wants him to go to a good home, and she knows she's seen by all the pictures on Facebook that we take care of Nina, and Nina's spoiled rotten. And I'm like, so you're wanting this dog? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, go get him. <laughs> I, I was I was really hard to to convince. So like, okay. <laughs> yeah, twisted his arm yeah. real hard. But yeah, so well, like, I I've done that to my husband's. So many times, <laughs> you come home from work. There's like four kittens sitting on the on the floor, and it's like, what's this? <laughs> Where'd those come you know, from? I, I worked for the the local. Um, when I lived in Manitoba, I, I I was actually a foster parent for all the kittens. Oh, um, and, and that was the the most incredible thing to be able to do. But now I have two dogs, a guinea pig, and um, three cats. But we're getting two more Cornish Rex cats. Wow. Um, they were born a couple of weeks ago. So, you know... I'm excited uh, for my, you. My, I know. It's awesome. We get these weekly pictures from the breeder. Um, and um, it's it's the highlight of my week. <laughs> I can awesome. see that. But my husband said to me, if somebody, uh, if somebody had a, a donkey that they couldn't look after, you would tether it on the front lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be on the front lawn. It'd it would be in, be the, in the house. Room. Yeah, it would be sitting in my spot. I'd be like, yeah, you're in my spot. You're in my spot. You, know, you got to move. Your favorite yeah. 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 The yeah. Sorry, it's the donkeys. <laughs> well, hell, you'd have two jackasses then. That's true. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so, Sarah, um, before we go, how can people contact you? I mean, where where can people look for you at? Um, they can look for me on Facebook. It's um, Serene River Center for uh, Spiritual and Intuitive Development. Awesome. And um, they can uh, search me out on Facebook. That's not a problem. And uh, anybody that needs um, some advice, help, whatever, they're more than welcome to, to contact me at any time. Perfect. Well, that's awesome. You are um, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, Anytime that you go out on a case and you need to vent and you want to want to get it out there, or if you get new information that or new learnings that you have you've taken in and you want to share that with our listeners, feel free to contact me and we will get you back on here because you were delightful oh, to talk. Absolutely to. Um, amazing. We loved it. Thank you so much, guys. I really enjoyed it. All right, um, everybody. Again, uh, her name is Sarah James. Look her up on Facebook, and her Facebook page is Serene River Center for Spiritual and Intuitive Development. Check her out; she is amazing. Um, and if any, and she's an animal lover, and so go donate for yes, her. Yes, and um, it, any of the the younger generation that's coming up, and you are, you know, experiencing some problems, I'm sure you can reach out to Sarah, and she will give you some advice and help point you in the right direction, so you can use this this gift the right way that's right all right sarah we will be back in touch with you and we want to hear more stories and hear more about your awesome adventures and all this awesome stuff you do for the people in your community 
Thank you. You take care. Have a wonderful day. All right. Thanks, you Sarah. Too. You too. Okay, bye-bye. All right, guys. That was Sarah. We are going to take a quick break. We will be right back. To Paratalk with Easton Seco Seekers, a new perspective in Paranormal Talk Radio. Okay, so I'm just going to say right now, I'm digging doing these interviews. I love interviews. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, seriously. It is. It's really opened up our our knowledge. Yeah, I, I mean, mean there's just so much out there that we've not dealt with. We've not really talked to anybody that's that directly does this stuff. You know, mm-hmm. we see the TV shows. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're awesome. But actually talking to somebody, it's kind of like okay. yeah, because I mean, you know, of course, TV, you know, with everything, is going to blow everything out of proportion. What? Yeah. It, nah. That's what happens. That's what happens. Next thing you're going to tell me that everything on the internet isn't true. I would never no. tell you that. Okay. That'd be a big fat law. Yeah. What do I think? I think go screw yourself. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean. And she was awesome. She's so yeah. sweet. I love the accent. Yeah. I'm so glad she had an accent. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I mean. Because once, you know, she sent me her bio yeah. for us to read, you know, and get some, some info on her and saw that she was originally from the UK. I was like, You're like, oh, yes, maybe, maybe. Yeah. And she told me I had a cool accent and she was just a good person. Oh, yeah. Oh, my god, Super gosh. sweet. Down I love, yeah. love, love, love her intentions. Yeah. Absolutely. Totally. Yeah. I mean, and again, you know, anybody that, that wants to get in touch with her or follow her on Facebook and, you know, you follow these people groups like us and her and all the other paranormal groups and everybody related to the paranormal world follow us on facebook and you may learn something That's you true. may you know for we do some educational type stuff around here we'll learn you we'll learn you well okay maybe it's not educational but at least you'll learn something <laughs> yeah uh but yeah for everybody that wants to check her facebook page out it is serene river center for spiritual and intuitive development and her name is sarah james uh you can look her up and i'm sure when you look her up on facebook it has you know that title underneath right. there so people can check her out does it i, not? I don't believe it you does. don't believe us i'm pop it open here right quick okay. but you can you know well, what I was going to suggest, you know, we can share a link on our page. Yeah, we'll share a link yeah. to the Serene River Center for Spiritual and Intuitive Development, which is a mouthful, especially for us country people. That's about as long as that, uh, the Bigfoot one. Yeah, yeah, it really was. And Steve's still checking, still checking, 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 checking. checking, checking. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid phone. Mm-hmm. Are you having trouble with the interwebs? I'm having trouble with my fingers. Um, <laughs> but I'm blaming it on the phone. Okay, okay. Yeah. But um, So next week, we are interviewing another medium. Awesome. Yeah, we are having Stephanie from DPX Radio and Detroit Paranormal Expeditions. Yes, looking um, forward to that. Yeah, we will be interviewing her next week. Um and we've got some more stuff in the works for the weeks to come. So I and hope everybody enjoys that. Anybody has any suggestions? If anybody knows anybody that wants would like to be interviewed, you know, shoot us a message. Send us a phone call. Yeah, you can call us at 865-264-0448. I just and realized that I said send us a phone call. Send us a phone call. I'm used to saying send us a, send me a text, but <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh Call the line. It's a six five two six four zero four four eight, and you're going to get a message when you call, and just leave all of your info there. And if you need us to return a call and you want to be on the show, awesome. Just tell us that. We'll get back in touch with you. If you just want to record your story, that way you don't have to talk to us and 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 you know answer a million questions. You're free to do that as well because we kind of ask a million questions yeah. maybe like a million and one yeah okay i just posted a link 
to her page on our page. Awesome. There it is. So awesome. everybody can just look on the East Tennessee Ghost Seekers page, and you can find a link to Sarah's page. And, um, again, just a big thank you, Sarah. We totally appreciate Yay. you coming on and talking with us. Uh, super awesome lady, guys. Absolutely. And, and what time do we come over for tea? <laughs> tea and biscuits? Tea and biscuits? You know biscuits are cookies. I do. That would be free go Yeah, so I watch the Belvitas. Belvitas? <laughs> <laughs> no, dumbass. That's cheese and it's Velveeta. No. <laughs> there are Velveeta biscuits that are actually like cookies. I know. Walgreens carries them. I know. They missed two plugs we gave them today. <sighs> Stop it. Yeah. We ain't getting paid for that. No, we ain't. And Walgreens. Never got paid from them before. <laughs> yeah. When we were there, <laughs> all true. three of us worked at Walgreens at one point in time. That is true. No. Stop saying that demonic name. Yeah, that's worse than saying the Ouija name. I didn't say it. No. Don't do nah. it. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And don't forget, everybody. Um, we have an event. Do you know what it is? I do. I do. July 21st. It's Seeker Saturday. Seeker Saturday. And everybody look for the uh, trailer. Oh, we got a trailer coming, coming out. out. It's awesome. It, I may wait till tomorrow. It may be today. I don't know. You know, if you wait until after you get back tonight, it'll be tomorrow. Or I could do it now and just schedule it. Oh, that's true. But then it'll still be tomorrow. Yeah. So it's going to anyway. be tomorrow. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. Just keep an eye on our page and you'll, you'll see it when it comes out. Um, but yeah, anybody that's interested in going to our event it is July 21st uh, at the Haunted, Haunted Hills, Hills Bar Dam. Um, $40 a person, nine full hour investigation. Um, we're going to split up awesome. in groups and take you guys to the deepest, darkest bowels of Hells Bar Dam. Did you have to say bowels? He said bowels. <laughs> wrong, sir. Wrong. <laughs> no, we are right. You said bowels. No, no, I'm saying I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But it was funny. But yeah, anyway, we, you know, you guys come and investigate with us. $40 a person, uh, and you're not going to be let From down. 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. There's going to be t shirts to be purchased uh, for both us and, and, and Hell's, uh, Hell's Bar Dam. And you guys definitely want one of each. I'm oh, telling yeah. Because our shirts are cool. Because uh, we're cool. Because yeah, I have course, to say cool. that because I created the logo. Of course they're and, cool. Um, Hell's Bar's shirts are freaking badass too. They, yes, are. they are. Yeah. I'm actually contemplating wearing ours or Well, see, I was going I was, I was going to grab tonight. my damn shirt. <laughs> Your damn shirt. My damn shirt. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I forgot it sitting on my bed yesterday when I left for work. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, I'm I'm touring with which one I want to wear. Who knows? Well, you can't find the one neat to Jess shirt. Well, I've got like, you know, nine other ones, but my one ETGS shirt I can't find. So we'll talk about that off the air. Um, Circle. Oh, or we can the talk new? about it right now. <laughs> the new one or the old one? No, the, the old one. one. No, the, the old, old one. one. Yeah. The no, last the, one. No, the new one. No, the new one I, that... The last one. No, the I can find one. that one. <laughs> okay, we'll discuss this off the air. Yeah. Okay. These people are like, what I'm confused as <laughs> what? fuck. <laughs> what are we listening to right now? But... um. And again, everybody, uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, Sarah James for coming on and talking. Uh, she was awesome. And everybody go and check out the Ghost Hunter store um, and get your 5% that Dave is graciously giving to all Pair Talk listeners. For a limited, for limited time only. And that. all you have to do is Sorry, add the- check out is enter Paratalk5. Would that be P-A-R-A-T-A-L-K? That would be it. That's like, you know, July 4th is the 4th of July. <laughs> shut no up. No way. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll end on that. Um, we hope everybody enjoyed listening to Paratalk this week. We had a ball. Um, we will be back again next week. Same yeah, bad we're going to be getting on the road here very shortly. Yes, we yep. Yeah. We will be back again next week. Same by, bad time. Same bad channel. Uh, they do what? There's yeah. bats. They have bats. 
Flash same bats. bat channel? Yes. Dude, Batman. what is there? What is here? It says, always be yourself unless you can be Batman. Then, always be Batman. I don't want to be Batman. I do. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, goobers. Yeah. You can be Wonder Woman. <gasps> yes. I was talking to Steve. Oh. I'll do her. <laughs> <laughs> Family show, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Freaking idiot. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for listening. We appreciate yeah. you all. Hey, go on uh, and rate us. Give yeah. us a good yeah. rating. Everybody that listens, please, you know, if you could just leave us a comment and rate our podcast, it makes it easier for other people to find us when they're searching for a good, cool podcast to listen to. Rape cool. our podcast. Rate. 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 Oh. Rate. oh. <laughs> please ignore the dumbass. He doesn't know the words that are coming out of his mouth. Or yours. Or yours. That's true. All of us. <laughs> well, call dang. <laughs> Just because I got three nipples doesn't mean I'm a bad person. <laughs> All right. I really hope these people know that difference. <laughs> yeah. Everybody at work does. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Uh, until next time, I'm Steven. This is Steve. I'm Andrea. And you've been listening to Paratalk. And that's all, folks. Hey, it's Steven, host of Paratalk. As most of you know, I'm also the lead investigator and tech specialist for the East Tennessee Ghost Seekers. Do you watch the paranormal shows on TV and get a rush and want to do what they do, but you have no idea where to get all their amazing equipment? The Ghost Hunter Store. Dave Giuliano and his wife Michelle have owned and operated the Ghost Hunter Store for 18 years, providing only the best in paranormal equipment to the field for research. The Ghost Hunter Store is always the first place we look when wanting new equipment and wanting it fast. So whether you're looking for a digital recorder or an SLS camera or anything in between, including protection items, check the Ghost Hunter Store. Find them at theghosthunterstore.com or on Facebook at the Ghost Hunter Store. Tell them Steven and the crew from Paratalk sent you. And for a limited time, Dave has given Paratalk listeners 5% off your order. Just enter the code Paratalk5. A new perspective in Parallel Talk Radio. Hey, this is Steve with Paratalk. Do you have a story to share? Call us at 865-264-0448 to explain your paranormal experience. Do you have a chilling story you'd like to share? Or just give us a topic you'd enjoy us to discuss? We understand some of you would like to keep anonymous, so the choice is yours if you want to share your name. So call 865-264-0448 now to have your story heard on the next episode of Paratalk.